nine in the morning and Cassie is still in bed. Most schools have already started for the day, but Cassie's school now starts later, much later. It runs from half past one in the afternoon till seven in the evening. Morning, Mark. Waking up later and getting more sleep has had a dramatic impact on life at home. I used to get really annoyed when my mum trying to wake me up. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, now she doesn't really have to. I can just do it on my own. I don't see her, you know, looking tired. And, uh, you know, even if you're older, if she's tired, and you're likely, you know, strop it to someone. But uh, she's much better. They've changed the start time at Cassie's school, not because they think their sick formers are lazy, the decision's based on more than 20 years of research into the teenage body clock. The cards really are stacked against them because they are overriding nature by getting up, quote, early uh, in the morning in order to be at, on time for school. Overriding nature? What is the science here? We asked the students to explain it. Our body clock is located in the brain, in the hypothalamus, and specifically in the suprachiasmatic nuclei. These cells are responsible for all our 24-hour timing systems in the human body. In adolescence, as the brain continues to grow and develop, the body clock shifts to two to three hours later. A seven o'clock start time for a teenager is equivalent to a 4.30 wake-up time for an adult. I definitely think I'm less of a classic teenager. Um, in the mornings, I've been a lot more cooperative and a lot nicer and I'll often be helping out and I'll actually be doing chores out of a want rather than a requirement. In my old school timetable I felt kind of grumpy in the morning but then it would wear out. But now it's just I'm feeling good all around because I've got good sleep and good quality of sleep. I find it easier to concentrate in lessons um, whereas before I'd sometimes be falling asleep in the over the first three hours of the morning. Here, it's so much more easy to concentrate and just to focus on the work that I have to do. Schools on a day-to-day -day basis are dealing with a whole range of issues, uh, sometimes mental health issues. I would argue there's a public health issue, really, in terms of a nation of uh, teenagers, particularly older teenagers, that are going to school chronically sleep-deprived. It's too early to say if the changes here will mean students do better in their exams, but it's hoped a wider study by Oxford University will help other schools to decide whether to change their timetable. Graeme Satchel, BBC News.